Hello there, I'm Andy Clark and this short video accompanies my article uh, writing from the student perspective. Um, I call this inspiration diagram my consideration shower and I typically advise uh, printing it out as both a reminder when starting to write and also for proofreading later. Uh, you'll notice that I've used colour, uh, starting with dark grey clouds and ending in a in a sunny bottom layer. I, I often use colour in this way to demonstrate the stages in a process. Here I've added the additional symbology of a rain shower travelling through a process. OK, um, I think it might be best to start with this bottom layer here. Um, this bottom row is my audience, so who am I writing for? This is helpful to both keep a writer focused towards their destination, but also helps them consider what changes they may make should their audience change. Um, often in academic writing, uh, we can focus too narrowly. Uh, on a brief and make many assumptions regarding uh, what is required. Uh, by thinking about the different audiences it can help identify what your key messages are and possibly draw in alternative ideas. So I'm asking the question if this was a business proposition what messages would be important? So this is trying to keep our key ideas uh, together or if this was a novel what is the main storyline? I believe that shifting your perspective audience can help add depth to your understanding and in turn uh, add depth to your writing. Okay. Uh, I'm going to flip up now to the top line. Okay. Um, our top line represents our resources of information. Um, I've, please note that one of the first ones I look at is called personal view. Uh, this helps to remind us that we will typically have a personal opinion regarding our topic and that this can skew both our research and our final piece of written work. Accepting this early in the research can help us to better focus on our key points. Uh, you may recall I mentioned this in the article to help focus with reading. However, it can also blinker us into being overly narrow with our arguments. Highlighting personal views can help the writer regain some of that balance. Then individual knowledge is basically made up of what you've learnt through lectures and the reading of textbooks up to this point. Group knowledge is a reminder that you may gain further insights by discussing this topic with peers. These two help in the creation of our first map, our ideas generator, uh, which we talked about in the first article. Our final sy uh, symbol represents the research we can complete uh, in order to add depth and knowledge. So this is the web, book and net research. Depending on how well the writer understands the assignment will have a large impact on how much they can rely on each area within this level. Our last level for consideration is basically a reminder of our objectives in writing. Firstly, our writing should be informative, uh, but not just this, we also need to consider whether it is engaging for the reader, and in particular for personal and business audiences, you may also require it to be entertaining. Ask yourself, do you want your audience to come back for more? Do you want their interest to be piqued upon receiving your next instalment? When teaching in FE many moons ago, um, the hope that the next essay on the pile may inform or entertain kept me going whilst I was marking. And I think that's the case for, for, for many academics. Um, well, I hope that this uh, has been helpful in some small way. Um, I'll pass on this file, but if you have a copy of Inspiration, I'm sure you can knock this up in a couple of minutes, should you wish to do so. Um, my next article will be focused on specific uh, learning difficulty. And so, um, until then, goodbye.